I wanted to show you the, the formula that we have here. So if you look at the formula there, we see that the user is trying to calculate the average of all the months, January to December, for this category of expenses. There's something important that we need to pay attention here. There's only one month with an expense. It could be, for example, the driver's license. So it's something that happened only once in the year. Maybe it could be a subscription, for example, an expense that we only pay once a year, but we want to calculate, okay, in, on average, how much am I paying each month? If it is a subscription, it makes a lot of sense to calculate that average because it could be a service that we are using throughout the year. So for example, if instead of this amount, it would be 120 euros in this case, for what 12 months, this would mean 10 euros per month average, right? But if we look at what we get here, we see that instead of those expected 10 euros, we get 120 euros. It's important that we are aware of this when we are using this function average. The average is determined based only on the values entered. So empty cells are not evaluated for in the average. So if I wanted that average formula to work, I would really have to come here and enter zeros throughout all the column. And you see how then now we get the correct average. If I don't want to do that, if I wanted to leave these cells empty, then I would need to do something else. Uh, one way could be instead of average, I would sum all the cells for the 12 months. And then we would divide by 12. Okay, then we would get the correct uh, average there.